Yo, yo, TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One here, and we are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let me invite you in. This is where the magic happens. We flush the house out a little bit more. Oh, oh, what do we got here? We can pray to our deity in our own home? Yeah, I'm a religious type of guy. You didn't know that about me. Link, even more religious. Unfortunately, our deity will not smile upon us until we have completed enough tasks typical religion we also have a place where we can cook we got the kitchen this is where you know the cooking happens to have a personal chef come in shrimp cock lobster locktails cocktails and we got a bed seems like it's kind of small right now you're damn right we're going to do some expanding as we go along but back to the matter at hand baby bubba we are moving on to the next geoglyph the next one is going to be in this general vicinity, we're going to be heading to the claw of this island right here. And uh, I believe there's a sky view tower I could take. I'm having a good day today. Actually going to go see Weezer in concert. And if you're thinking about robbing my house, you can't. Because by the time this video comes out, I would have already enjoyed the show. Thank you, you sickos. But yeah, I'm going to see Weezer. And you know, I can only say one thing. Who knew that I look just like Buddy Holly too? Whoa, that, that has to be it. It's the freaking Skimitar. It's the skim it's the Skimitar sigil. Alright, well we can uh we can head over in this direction. Tulin, give me a give me a blow there, buddy. Give me a good old blow. I don't know how you guys feel about Weezer. What's your favorite Weezer song? I, I'm a basic bitch, so it's it's clear that pumpkin spice and cinnamon lattes. I'm a, I'm a Buddy Holly boy. I'm a Buddy Holly boy, 100%. But we cannot forget the such the such songs as uh, "My Name Is Jonas," which is you know indicative of me having a co-host who is also named Jonas. It is you know we got to put some love on that one. Um, my biggest, my favorite Weezer album, you ask? Well, of course I have an answer for that one. You asked it. Uh, the White Album. If you do not know about the White, come on, man. California Girls, come on. You're, you, you're kidding me. I can listen to that well, album back to front. Put me on a desert island with that album and, I don't know, a million dollars and I'll be happy. Once I get off. I do have I do have the uh, the Jonas list here as well. Um, I discussed in the prior episode that I will be starting a Jonas list when I can't think of something to say. I have a list of things that Jonas would say that I will be. He's laughing because he's in the room, but it, it actually exists. I have a bunch of things that Jonas would hey say. Hey there, buddy boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I basically did that impression when I was talking about the Jonas list. So we will be utilizing the Jonas list if if need be. Uh, the first, the first issue of Bitten is uh, on the Jonas list. Um, um, the, the fans in the bathroom. How, how do those work? How do, how does do, like, <laughs> like why, why do you have a fan in the bathroom? What are we, what are we doing with that? T T. Like, why it, do people have a fan in the bathroom? I mean, come on. What it, are they doing with that? Does it suck or does it blow? I'm confused. Because if it's sucking, where is it sucking to? You know. Like, is there like a fart tunnel, a fart chute that it just like blows all the my fart scent out of? Or does it blow the fart scent around in the room and just distribute it even more in my household? Because I don't think I want that if that's the case. All right, God dang, if you're following along at home, TNT Dynamite got lost again. And that, you know, that's pretty much par for the course. So you come over to the, when you get here, you want to kind of head over to like where the, the pan handle for this thing would be like the, the arm, the hilt, the hilt, like the Hilton. Just think that in your mind. It's it's around here somewhere. I, I Boy, howdy, I'm telling you. It's it's right over in this general vicinity, I tell you right now. And when I find it, you're gonna be like, holy shit, he found it. There it is! Look at that. See, look at that, right right there. Just for the people at home who might get lost. Yeah, I know. I had the, the markers waiting. You know, it's here. Alright, we found it. Here it is. Alright. Let's get in. More lore. <laughs> I'm ready. 
Is it going to be more Ganon fan club memorabilia? Or more the kindness of our hearts? The rise to power? All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. The hell? <laughs> oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <laughs> That's not a Yiga. The hell? <gasps> no. And he steals her necklace. Like a rat beef. What the hell? A rewind time on his ass. Where's Roro? Gannon, you dirty bastard. Holy crap, man. So does that mean uh, she's she's dead now? Is she gone? I mean, obviously she's gone. We're like a thousand years in the future. All right. We're back in for the next one. We're going to go to the Picada Stone Grove Style View Tower. We're going to be heading to the one that's in this general vicinity. Let's pop up. Sometimes you got to pop up and show them. I've been wondering myself. Like, have you ever met somebody that just, like, hands you food with, like, their bare hand? Like, I, I really don't, I don't understand what goes through a person's mind when they're just, like, here's, like, a piece. They hand you, like, a, a chicken wing or something, and it's just, like, in their bare hand. Like, if you're going to hand me a chicken wing, like, put it on a plate or a napkin or something. No, I had somebody hand me, like, a piece of brisket that was just, like, dripping with sauce. And they hand it to me with like their bare mitt. And it's like, what do you do? You like, you do the hand wave of like, no, I'm good actually. You know, he's, he's standing there with his, a proud smile on his face. Like I worked hard on this brisket. Brother, you hand it to me with your fingers. I, I don't know when the last time you washed your hands. I've had that happen in the past. Person handed me a piece of cake. You didn't hand me a piece of cake. Why are you handing me the piece of cake on your bare hands when I got a plate in my hand? Don't put the cake in your dirty mitt and then put it on my, put it on my plate. You put it on the plate with a fork or a knife or a utensil. Get a pair of tongs. I don't care what you got to do. Don't 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 hand me food with your bare hand. I'm just saying it's a problem. It's a problem, and I think there's a certain subset of people that don't realize they are the problem, and that's a problem too. You know, like honestly, where's your home training? <laughs> TNT drops microphone. All right, never, never hand me food with your bare hands. It's weird. This is it. There it is. So it's like right on the cusp, right there. You can pinpoint it on your map. Boom! There she blows. Next memorist. yourself 
What if we find out that like Zelda's Link's mom? That'd be wild, right? Queen Sonia. Queen Sonia. Finally. Bro, you love to hate him. Finally, it is mine. Oh. Holy crap. Heart's muscle. Now he's super Ganon. Holy. Just him getting the power alone was enough to summon all of these bad creatures. Only takes one bad head to bring all the bad guys to the party. Sonia. You were too late, Roro. Roro. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You tried to control me. You will die knowing that you failed. Uh, you got the same power. Prince Sonia needs you. No, nah, brother, you got to stop that. He's so cool, though. You have to admit, he's pretty cool looking, all right? He's a douche. He does bad things, but he looks good while he does it, all right? Give him credit where credit's due. His motif is way better than the good guy's motif, all right? The good guys look like regular people. He looks like a freaking Super Saiyan deity. So I, I don't know. Either way, very crazy that he is the one who killed Ruru's, Ruru's woman, um, I'm not condoning killing wives. I'm not a, I'm not about that lifestyle. Um, on the next episode, we'll get down to a couple more of these memories. We're halfway there at this point, and uh, I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Till the next one, TNT Dynamite, and I'm out, and I'm cold. <laughs>